live in a world on the outside of the big money of college football. You live on the inside of it. But are you still amazed when you see that Texas A&M's willing to pay a guy $77 million to go away? Yeah. How do you, how do you grasp that? I don't know. Uh, people were texting me about it last night because, I mean, of course, I don't know anything going on unless people text it to me. And, and like, I have something I don't know what to say. It's pretty amazing. Um, I would think that means they have a lot of money. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right? I mean, so pretty amazing. You do, Jimmy Sexton. Yeah. You don't uh, – OSU doesn't have the money that A&M does. Um, I assume you, you wish you did. However, it seems like it causes problems as, as well as solves problems. You, you have the advantage of maturity and age that the young people don't. Money causes problems everywhere. Money causes problems in college football. Money causes problems at the NFL. Money causes problems in marriages. Money causes, college causes problems with administration and coaches and relationships. Money causes a lot of problems. I don't know anything's going on in a and I mean, it's not even fair for me to comment because I have no idea what all is going on. But all the rumors that we heard over the last two or three years, there was a lot of money involved in – things through NIL legally. I don't know if that's true or not, but um, it's, a, it's an interesting um, situation that has always caused problems, and it always will be. It'll always be an issue. Yeah, I guess one of my questions is, like, if OSU got mad at you and wanted to fire you, mm -hmm. they might do it or could do it, but they wouldn't just think about, oh, we got to write him a check. Utah's not doing that with Kyle Whittingham. People that sort of have stability and just say, here's our coach and we're not going to make rash decisions seem to come out pretty good. In yeah. most cases, um, so there can be some firings that are unjust based on there's a lot of things going on. And then there's some that are pretty clear cut that we need to make a change. And Somebody's going to make that decision. But what you're saying is right, particularly now with, and I said this a number of times, the people that have a difficult job now is these ADs because it's hard to tell what's, what's going to happen with the portal and NIL because it's not clear cut like it used to be. Now you can, you can have a really good portal year and win 10 games, and then everybody feels like we got to give this guy a new contract and that portal year runs out in the next two or three years, and then everybody's going, why did we give this guy a new contract? Or it can go the other way. You can have a somewhat stable program. You can get wiped out by the portal and then have a couple years where it's not so good, and the coach is probably still doing a pretty good job, and the staff's probably doing a good job. Then you have to make a decision as administrator. That's why I think it's tough. Of, okay, am I going to do this? Am I going to make a change and pay this guy and pay all of his assistants and – then it's, they, they say it's between three and a half and $5 million to get a new staff. So let's just say it's a $30 million hickey. Do I want to do that? And if I do that, it sure has to be better than it was or it doesn't look very good. That's the tough thing with ADs nowadays, and, and it's, a lot of this is going to be driven through the portal in NIL. It's, it's uncertainty of what's going on and how it happens. But, I mean, I don't know what you're, whatever story you're writing, but you're right on with – you know, in most cases, probably going to be just about as good as it is. We just need to try to hit on a few things here and there.